Hey y'all, today's video is on how I install my mini twist that lasts up to four weeks. As you can see, I'm starting off with super stretched hair. This is a blowout that I've been wearing for about two weeks. Here I am parting my hair in, in the direction that I want my twist to fall. I will be braiding the right side of my head. So once I section that area off, I'm going to twist it up and put it away until the very end. Because I like working in sections, I'm going to part the other top half of my hair off and I'm also going to put that away until later. Notice that I'm going to do a staggered part on the side. This is to ensure that my twists fall in such a way that will not leave my parts exposed. So starting at the nape, I'm going to part off a medium sized row. My hair is fine in this area, so to prevent tangling, I make this row slightly larger than the others. Now before I begin twisting, I'm going to take this spray bottle and I'm going to add a small amount of leave-in conditioner with some water. Once you've added your conditioner to the water, you're just going to put the top back on and shake it up really well. And later on, I'll show you guys how I use this mixture. My favorite product to twist with is this Care Care Twist and Define Cream. I absolutely love this stuff because it's thick so a little goes a long way and it's also very moisturizing and does not leave a residue. So now I'm just going to part off a medium sized section in the back and I'm going to take my Care Care and I'm just going to put a dime size on my fingertip and this is actually a dime size and from root to tip I'm going to distribute that my hair and then I'm just going to start twisting now at the root you want to make sure you twist the root as tight as you can and just work your way down until you get to the very end And I'm going to follow those same steps until I have twisted that entire row. I started with stretched hair in order to get more length, but because my hair is semi-straight, I'm going to use this mixture of conditioner and water uh, to make my end, the ends of my hair revert back to curls in order to prevent unraveling. So I'm going to just grab that spray bottle. I'm going to mist my ends until curls start to form. And once I saturate my ends, I just use my hands to, to kind of scrunch up and um, assist in making those ends curl and you know doing here for a close-up you can see that those ends are starting to curl and this is going to keep those ends moisturized and they will not come loose now I'm at the very top of my head I'm just going to finish that last row off by applying my cream and twisting all the way down to the end and then again 
spraying those ends with water and conditioner and using my hands to scrunch. After about three and a half hours, I'm finally done twisting. And this is what my hair looks like. Now that my hair has soaked up all of that water, um, the curls on the ends are really starting to pop now. So because I did these on super stretched hair right now, I'm getting full length. But in about a week, once that product dries and my hair starts to soak up the moisture in the air, my twists will shrink a little bit, but I will still have some length just because they were initially done on stretched hair. So the last step in this process is to install very small braids on the right side of my head. I always do side braids with my mini twists because um, in a few weeks, once my twists start to get old, I can... I can just go back in and redo my braids and that will freshen up my entire look and I can continue to do that the same thing every few weeks um, and make my hair last for at least a month. And notice when I get to the end of the braid, I'm going to braid down for probably a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to twist until I get to the end. So these are the final results. I will leave these twists in for about a month. This is uh, another one of my favorite protective styles. I always see a lot of growth whenever I'm wearing these. And I can also, they help, uh, the twists help me gauge the health of my hair. Um, I know if those twists don't start to fluff up over a, in about a week, I know my hair is, is not healthy and I can focus on those certain areas. So if you guys like this tutorial, please hit the like button. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on the next video.